In this problem, 15.7 grams of sodium hydroxide, NaOH, are dissolved in water. The final volume of the solution is 750 milliliters. Find the pH of the solution. So for almost every problem like this, you want to start out by writing your dissociation of your compound. So in this case, it's NaOH. And this is a strong base, so it's going to completely dissociate into Na plus ions and hydroxide or OH minus ions. So I've put in a bubble here some very important equations that you should be using and you should know for pH problems. And I've boxed in red here the general path that we're going to take in this problem. Ultimately, we want to get to pH, and we're starting with grams of NaOH. So how are we going to get from grams of NaOH to pH? Well, it's going to be a stepwise process. First, we'll change grams of NaOH into moles of OH minus. Then we can change moles of OH minus to the concentration of OH minus. Then we can change the concentration of OH minus into pOH. Finally, we can easily convert pOH into pH, and we'll have our answer. So I started out with this first step by converting 15.7 grams of NaOH to moles of NaOH, and I did that by dividing by the molar mass of NaOH, which is 40 grams, and I obtained 0.3925 moles of sodium hydroxide. So since sodium hydroxide is a strong base, that means that the amount of moles of NaOH we have are going to be exactly the amount of moles of OH minus we have because NaOH completely dissociates into its ions, Na plus and OH minus. And notice how I'm not worried about the sodium ions at all in this problem. That's because they don't affect the pH. When you're interested in pH, don't worry about Na plus ions, just worry about the hydroxide. So like I just said, 0.3925 moles of NaOH means that we're gonna have 0.3925 moles of OH, right? Because it completely dissociates into its ions. So now that I've got moles of OH minus, I want to get to concentration of OH minus, and that is in units of molarity. So I know I have to divide by my total liters of solution, and that is 0 0.750 liters. So doing this division problem, I got 0.523 molar OH minus concentration. From here, I can plug this directly into the definition of pOH, which is the negative log of the hydroxide concentration. So negative log of 0.523 gives me a pOH of 0.28. Finally, it's very easy to take pH equals 14 minus pOH and use this equation to find the pH. So pH equals 14 minus the pOH, which was 0.28, and you get a final pH of 13.72. And this makes sense, right? This is a very high pH, and that's because we added a strong base into a solution. So that's what we would expect. If we had obtained an answer that was less than seven, we would probably have known that we'd made a mistake somewhere. This problem asks how many grams of calcium hydroxide, CaOH2, must be added to five liters of water so that the final pH of the solution equals 9.46. So the first thing I did here was I wrote out the general dissociation reaction of calcium hydroxide in a solution. It starts out as CaOH2, and then it's gonna dissociate into a calcium two plus ion and two OH minus or hydroxide ions. So in this problem, we actually have to work backwards. I boxed in red here the general scheme that we will follow in this problem. All we know right now is the volume of the solution, the pH, and that we had calcium hydroxide. So I started out by taking that pH, turning it into the pOH, then I was able to find the concentration of OH minus, which was then converted into moles of OH minus, then I was able to convert that to moles of calcium hydroxide, and then finally grams of calcium hydroxide. So it seems complicated and overwhelming, but let's walk through this slowly. So I've got a, an important list of equations bubbled in here that you should know and use for almost every pH problem. So we know pH is equal to the negative log of the H plus concentration. pOH, on the other hand, is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide concentration. We know if we add together pH and pOH, we get 14 and thus we can isolate pH and pOH like this. pH is 14 minus pOH, and pOH is 14 minus pH. So again, following this general scheme in this red box, I started out with pH, and I wanted to get to pOH. So I used this equation down here, pOH equals 14 minus pH. 
So this left me with pOH equals 14 minus 9.46, and I found that the pOH is 4.54. So step one is done. I found the pOH, and with this I'm going to try to find the hydroxide concentration. So we know pOH is equal to the negative log of the hydroxide concentration. So I said log of the hydroxide concentration is equal to negative 4.54, multiplied both sides by negative 1. Then to undo this logarithm, I did 10 to both sides, and I was able to isolate the hydroxide concentration as 2.9 times 10 to the negative 5 molar. So now I'm here, and now I want to get moles of hydroxide. So to get moles of hydroxide for molarity, well I know I have 2.9 times 10 to the negative 5 molar, which is 2.9 times 10 to the negative 5 moles of hydroxide per 1 liter, but I have 5 liters, right? So I multiplied by five liters to cancel out the volume, and I was left with 1.4 times 10 to the negative four moles of hydroxide. Finally, I crossed my mole bridge to get to moles of calcium hydroxide. So here were the moles of hydroxide, and I knew that for every one mole of calcium hydroxide, I had two moles of hydroxide because it's in a two to one molar ratio. So I found that I had 7 times 10 to the negative 5 moles of calcium hydroxide. And finally, we all know how to convert moles to grams at this point. So 7, point, 7 times 10 to the negative 5 moles of calcium hydroxide can be converted, converted to grams of calcium hydroxide by multiplying by the molecular weight of calcium hydroxide, which is 74.1 grams. And you get a final answer of 0 0.0052 grams of calcium hydroxide. If a 0.25 molar solution of a weak acid is 4% ionized, find the pH of the solution. So the first thing I did for this problem was I wrote out the general dissociation reaction of an acid. In this case, of course, it's a weak acid, but we represent acids in general as HA. H represents the proton that will be donated, and A is the rest of the acid. H plus is the donated proton, and A minus again is the rest of the acid, now an anion. And we know that this is going to dissociate to the extent of exactly 4%. Dissociation and ionization are really synonyms. So we know we started out with a 0.25 molar solution of the weak acid, and if it's going to dissociate or ionize 4%, then we can figure out how much of this solution is going to turn into H plus which really determines the pH of the solution, right? So let's find the concentration of H plus by multiplying 0.25 molar, the original concentration of our weak acid, by 4% or 0.04. You'll get 0.01 molar as your H plus concentration, which you can then plug into this equation here, pH equals the negative log of the H plus concentration. So you'll do negative log of 0.01, and on your calculator, you will get pH equals 2.